Bertie was a very good boy. He was kind, obedient, truthful, and unselfish. He had, however, one great fault: he always forgot. No matter how important the errand, his answer always was, "I forgot." When he was sent with a note for his teacher, his mother would find the note in his pocket at night. If he was sent to the store in a great hurry to get something for tea, he would return late without the thing he was sent for. But with his usual answer, his father and mother talked the matter over and decided that something must be done to make the little boy remember. Christmas was near, and Bertie was busy making out a list of things which Santa Claus was bringing to him. Santa Claus may forget some of those things," said his mother. "He can't," replied Bertie. "For I will ride sled and skates and drum and violin and all the things on this paper. Then, when Santa Claus goes to my stocking, he will find the list. He can see it and put the things in as fast as he reads." Christmas morning came, and Bertie was up at dawn to see what was in his stocking. His mother kept away from him. As long as as she could, for she knew what Santa Claus had done. Finally, she heard him coming with slow steps to her room. Slowly, he opened the door and came towards her. He held in his hand a list very much longer than the one he had made out. He put it in his mother's hand, while tears of disappointment fell from his eyes. See what Santa Claus left for me. He could have at least given me one thing. His mother opened the roll. It was a list of all the errands Bertie had been asked to do for six months. At the end of all was written in staring capitals, "I forgot." Bertie wept for an hour. Then his mother told him they were all going to Grandpa's for the first time. He would see a Christmas tree. Perhaps something might be growing there for him. It was very strange to Bertie, but on Grandpa's tree he found everything he had written on his list. Was he cured of his bad habit? Not all at once. But from that day forward, whenever his mother saw that he was not listening to her, she would say, "Remember, Santa Claus does not forget." If you like to share your personal inspirational story or any incident which changes your life, if you think it must be shared with the world, share with us on alwaysbirdy44 at gmail dot com. We will share your story in our upcoming videos. Share your story and inspire the world. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our next video. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye bye for now. Namaste.